Uh, well, my name is Mark Singer. I'm the Dean now of Undergraduate Studies at Golden Gate University in San Francisco. One of the things about that, that, I, that I found through my, my work uh, in, in the world of open educational resources and, and, and my work uh, collaborating with uh, the folks at uh, Sailor is that um, the, the needs of uh, students worldwide are, are, are so varied. And, uh, Americans generally don't have a clear sense of like, how, how diverse the population is out there and how diverse the needs are of, of, of people in other countries. Um, and it, it wasn't until I left the United States to go to an international conference for the first time that I realized it's not just um, getting people the right skills, it's, it's also providing them with the right um, context in which to acquire those skills. So, so we think about distance education in the United States about as, as being something like um, focused on online learning. Uh, what do you do when people don't have internet connectivity? Um, how do you get those people to, uh, uh, to a place where they can start to bridge that skills gap so that they can contribute to their own society but also to the, to the whole global economy? Um, and so, so that's really what it means to me. It's about thinking about the almost infinite number of ways that we can do the work we do uh, to bring it to, home to people um, in very different contexts and very different situations. This actually should matter to um, institutions of higher education in the United States. One is a large percentage of our students um, are international students. They come to the United States to study, um, presumably to, some of them to stay here, but presumably it's to take back the skills and the knowledge that they acquire here to improve their own countries. And, and I, I think that really ha speaks a lot to um, um, the future of international relations. You know, if you've got people who are educated um, you know, at American institutions, um, bringing those ideas and those skills back to their people, I, I think that sort of helps to connect us in a way that um, uh, just reading about what we do doesn't quite do. And so, so also, uh, if you're thinking about the future of higher education in the United States, I mean, we really depend on our ability to keep those students coming here. Uh, you know, more and more uh, institutions here um, have it factored into their business model that a certain percentage of students will come from from overseas? You know, it's uh, um, but they won't come and they won't stay if we're not meeting them where they are and providing them with the kinds of uh, experiences and the kinds of learning uh, and also acknowledging and recognizing the learning they bring to us. Uh, they, they just won't see this as a value proposition anymore. Uh, so I think it's really important for American institutions to. Uh, uh, to meet the, to figure out how to meet these students where they are and, and all the varying needs that they have. For us to succeed, you know, in, in an economy that's rapidly, it, it's already there. We're already a global economy. Um, there's no way for us to extricate ourselves entirely from from what's going on in, in every other country in the world. Uh, it's really important for our students and for our institutions to have a clear sense of the larger ecosystem, if you will, that they're in, operating in. Because most of these students, when they graduate from school or, or whenever they finish their educations, they're going to need to know how to engage with these kinds of uh, uh, situations and, and the kinds of people um, you know, who live in these other countries. And, and there's no way they can do that unless we're working to identify uh, these gaps and, and to address them. You know, they need to be speaking some sort of a common language, really. Uh, um, and, and our educational system is the way to sort of create those connections among people. It, it's hard to know what those gaps, those skills gaps are going to be. And, and that's exactly the problem. Many institutions are trying to address the skills gaps from 10 years ago, right? But new ones ex are created every day. Most of the jobs that people um, who are currently in college will get don't exist right now. They don't even exist as categories of jobs right now. Uh, things are changing so rapidly. Um, what we really need to be thinking about is how to create a system that, uh, that is prepared to address every skills gap as it presents itself. And uh, that really requires people to, uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, to be able to understand how to communicate with one another effectively across all kinds of boundaries.